Mr. Hightower, can I talk to you about something very personal and confidential? I'm gonna have to start getting out of this classroom quicker. <laughs> Mr. Hightower, Romeo's a big fake. He didn't do that painting. I did. Sophia, what are you doing Romeo's artwork for? Because he stinks. <laughs> but I love him. Look, Sophia, I don't care how much you love Romeo. You don't do his work. But I didn't know it would win an award. And now he's acting like he wanted himself. How did I get myself into this situation? I ask myself that same question every time I look at my paycheck. <laughs> it's not his fault, but it's not mine either. I was just trying to help. Wait a minute. You entered him in the contest. It's your fault. Hey, I'm tired of you kids passing the buck around here. If you want to blame somebody, you're going to have to stop and take a good look at who's really responsible. Principal Greer. <laughs> Doesn't matter whose fault it is. I can't rat out my boyfriend. Just forget this conversation. Ah, boy, I almost forgot you had office duty. You're just the man I wanted to see. Yeah, well, a lot of people been wanting to see me nowadays, Mr. Hightower. <laughs> yeah, that's because you the man. <laughs> you know, whenever I look at your painting, it just, just lets me know that I finally reached one of my students. Just, just kind of just chokes me right up. <laughs> Mr. Hightower, it's just a painting. Just a painting? Yeah. Romeo, you've changed my life. From now on, I will be known as the guy that taught Romeo how to paint. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> you playing with me, aren't you? Oh, uh, no. I've been telling all my friends about you. As a matter of fact, one of them has agreed to let you work right out of their studio. Oh, Mr. Hightop, I don't deserve this, man. Oh, of course you do. Of course, that'll mean some other student will get bumped out of space, but hey, that's his problem. Talent like yours needs to be nurtured. Oh, Mr. Hightop, you don't hey, understand. Hey, no buts. No buts. I already know what you're thinking. Can't afford the art supply. Well, that's why I thought I'd come up with a little something, something, you know, just to kind of help you with those little pencils and crayons, you know, all that crazy stuff you artists need, you know. Well, you're right. Huh? We ain't nothing without our supplies. <laughs> you took the money. Yeah, this this will buy us a lot of brushes. <laughs> oh, got to go, Mr. Hightower. Steve, hold up. They said, for the last time, I'm not gonna help you fake your death for the insurance money. <laughs> no need, Steve. I already called a credit card company. I explained them my situation. They willing to work with me. Whew. That's good, man, because I was getting tired of acting like an old Chinese woman every time I answered the phone. <laughs> okay, dog. It's just 715 easy payments, and I'll be debt free. Attention, everyone. This is your principal, Miss Greer. <laughs> I have a special announcement from our teen arts poster winner, Romeo Santana. All right, y'all. Microphone check. I'm making microphone check. If you can hit me in the house, say hey, hey. hey. Romeo. <laughs> Sorry. The truth is, I don't deserve the teen art poster award. I didn't paint the picture. Everybody in the whole school talking about how beautiful the picture is. That's because it came from a beautiful person. That's right. Sophia Ortiz. She's the one with the talent. Thanks, thanks. Mr. Hightower, I told you not to tell. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't say a thing. He did it on his own. I'm sorry, baby. Apology accepted. <laughs>